Gavin Sheets against McGill. Ball number one. Abreu at first, two out, and Gavin takes a ball in the dirt, two and zero. Oh. Left side on the ground. That was pretty well hit, but the throw to first is in time from Rochella. A little chancier than our crew wants to be. Yeah, I think so also. And plus, although I do usually travel with a drum. So you're saying we shouldn't? Yeah. We rarely get to do a game on your birthday. It's typically during the All-Star break. Yeah, I know. You sound thrilled. It's depressing. No, it's actually okay because I am here. Your All-Star game. Get to spend it here. And get to spend it with you. Sounded as sincere as a strike three. Insightful of the young man. It said underneath, I want to be a pro baseball player. Well, it turned out today. Oh. And said that everything is going just fine. She's happy with the resurgence of Lucas. There's a pop up and Polanco handles it to hand it off to Cor On the ground is shortstop. Correa soaks it up and throws to first for a stretch by a rise. Ball one. From the Cubs. That was a fastball. Just Griffin Jacks getting loose already in the pen. As there's a check swing from Abreu, and he didn't go, so it's three and zero. Oh. You know, it does kind of go in close to going. We talked about the McGills. Tyler and Trevor McGill, their father, Brian Johnson. Ball four outside. First pitch, curveball, one and oh. If you so picking up the spin and then not swinging is one of the keys. That one's in for a strike, one and one. I wonder how he's in there handling it right in Cleveland. Fastball middle outside corner two and two. Sox Sox got the split eventually. Two two grounded to the right side at second base. Polanco spins it high to second to get the out. Vaughn to third a break. You watch guys really work at that throw from second base and a long throw like that. You see a very sharp turn with the hips. You're just looking for a force out. The same thing is true. Line drive right field and Kepler goes sliding in to make. <laughs> Low ball one. Two and oh. Yeah, you got Akil Badu. A couple of runs and that gets away. And Sanchez can't find it. Zach Short scores. Arise throws to third. 3 0. Ball four. Not close. Game series all by himself. And McGill is still looking for the strikes. The breaking ball there, but not able to locate that either. There it is, a strike. One and one. Weakly hit in the direction of Correa to first. Out. And that snuffs. Trevor McGill. And he's a the big contest. dude, too, Scott. 6'8", oh, yeah. about 250 pounds. 20 to third, only 13 hits allowed. Whew. A hondo. Arise now at second. Perfect timing for us to get you caught up. in stadium. You get into games in the September, the Packers would play 
a couple of exhibition games and you'd see the lines the yardage markers out on the field we used to joke around sitting in the bullpen playing at the 35 yard marker helpful oh. for defensive positioning and it was a it was a great ballpark and and this place just has all the bells and whistles great ball game they've done a lot of things right here in Milwaukee oh. good teams good people great city wonderful place to play keeps getting better here it's packed I mean we're Wednesday afternoon skip work have a day yeah beautiful ballpark Scott the, the hitters love this place outside of Coors Field might be the Brewers used to be in the American League East hey, another hey. great pitch from McGill big Brother Tyler has great stuff. He just hasn't been able to stay on the mound this year for the Metro. And that's going to be nice and easy. One, two, three for Trevor McGill to get through the Brewers. Eerily similar, his voice to his dad. Yeah, it's, it's all like a mirror image almost. Tony is doing a great job on San Diego radio with our buddy Jesse Agler this year. Trevor McGill is the second relief run lead. Mark Contreras takes over for Alex Kirilov in right field. So for Contreras, this is his seventh major league game. Kim with a bouncer to the left side. Tough bounce handled by Miranda. That was really well done. Take a good throw. So if he doesn't take that step, it becomes a true in-between hop, or if he hesitates or takes the wrong angle. Speaking of which, this time, tough play with Abrams, one of the fastest players in all of bait to play. I get it. Right. Back to the top, and Profar taking a strike. And Correa does everything. We talked about how aggressive Miranda was. Watch Correa. Correa is coming. Front. It's nothing and two on Profar. Still seeking his first hit of this series. And the Padres are seeking their tying run in scoring position for San Diego. And a hard hit ball is going to go off of Jerry Lane.